Welcome back to the show once again. Always a pleasure to see our next guest. Of course, he is a best-selling author of Adventures in Solitude and also a host on CBC Radio 3. And when he's not doing that, he is a fine goalie, people. We're talking about the one and only Grant Lawrence. Grant, how are you, kid? Hello. How are you? Oh, 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 big save. Hi. That was Hendrick Sedin on Tim Thomas. Sorry. Uh, Grant, how's it going, man? Oh, good. So good. is this your real goalie gift? This is yeah, what you this, wear as goaltender of the Flying Bees. Yeah, this, this is my actual goaltending gear take yes. the helmet off for a second and uh, this is the this is the gear that uh, that I won the championship in in uh, division four in North Van get in this position season. there kid Congratulations. you never know so what here, might happen here. congratulations to you and the V's uh, here I have a bamboo net <laughs> oh, oh glove hand is so good that's what that's what Luongo should have done on Michael Ryder last oh. night that's all. Grant, <laughs> what did you think really about goes. the game last night? Uh, did well, you watch it wearing this? No, what did you see, do? what I did, what what my tradition was was strip hockey in a negative way, uh, where I take off a piece of clothing uh, with each goal against. But unfortunately, <laughs> in the eight-one drubbing. I wasn't even wearing eight pieces of clothing. That's <laughs> where you start getting out the razor. So what can you do? So yeah. it's four nothing. Yeah. Where were you at? Uh, four nothing last night. I was you know, naked. Naked. Yeah, <laughs> fetal, posi fetal position, naked, facing the the wall. There's no uh, sexier image of a man than that. How oh. does your uh, lovely and talented wife Jill feel about this oh. tradition of stripping clothes during the game for goals against? Well, Jill's really enjoying yoga in the city right now. Uh, <laughs> right. She, the, cla the classes are. I mean, she can she can reenact the moves to Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, she can, and she can walk into any class in his empty. Yeah, you know, it's no problem. So she's she's actually loving the the playoffs. Okay, uh, let's uh, should we talk about the stick? Sure, let's talk sure. About the stick, the stick first. because okay. you won that gear. Yeah. But how did you get this? No, this this stick. If we come in close, yes, is uh, is sorry, is stick is Listen, signed. there's no high sticking <laughs> okay. in here. This this stick is signed by every single member of the uh, of the Canucks this year. Here's the twins over here. We've got uh, Andrew Albert, the immortal Andrew Alberts over there. Manny Malhotra right here. And uh, I was at a, a Music BC gala, and they did a thing about 200 people at the gala over the Bay Shore, and they did a game where they gave a little wooden hockey stick out to every single person in the audience. Everyone stood up, and. They flipped a coin on stage and they went, you had to go heads or tails, point okay. the stick to your head yeah. or your tail. And I survived every single round of 200 people till I was the last one standing. Last man <laughs> so standing. not just a talented goaltender, but an excellent prognosticator yeah, as well. Yeah, I went straight to the Nooksack Casino now, after that, I'll tell you that. As a goalie, my friend, how are you? What do you think about Luongo? Well, it's tough, you know. I mean, I, I think, uh, like a lot of fans, Corey Schneider should have come in around the fifth goal of uh, game, game three. three. Yeah. I mean, Corey Schneider, quite frankly, looked... I mean, he you didn't right. see it, yeah. Michael. No, I heard he looked good, though. He looked good. His glove yeah. was sharp. He looked confident. He plays a little further out than Luongo. And not. To, I'm not throwing Luongo under the bus yeah. in any way, shape, or form. But, I mean, I, I'll tell you one thing. Our team last night looked tighter than the bolts on Chara's <laughs> neck. Oh my God, he's the missing Me. link. I'm telling you. Chara. Me defenseman. <laughs> oh, that monster. No, you gotta give him some warning before he start oh, throwing the holy no, crap no, no. at him. Do we give you warning? I'm uh, you your mask. Five hole. Ah, score! Oh. Okay. Uh, what is your goalie style? Uh, oh well, my my team, the Flying V's, that's the logo right there. Yes. Uh, my team, uh, you know, the the famous goalie style uh, that Patrick Waugh invented is the butterfly. So yeah. that's that's going down, you know, like this. Yeah. And oh, creating quick, there's butterfly stand up. Yeah, and creating a wall. Kirk McLean was to stand up like this. He'd do the kick save or he'd do the <laughs> pad stack like that. <laughs> I and, love that move. That was like, that's a great and move. What I I do is I more of a kind of a hybrid of the butterfly, which is called more of the the wounded moth, which okay. is kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and my and my, uh, my my some of the nastier teammates on my team have described my goaltending style uh, sort of the the visual of uh, it looks like someone who has just fallen out of their wheelchair. <laughs> Which is, I think, very rude. 
and not not a. Not cool. that, that's a typical yeah. locker room kind of conversation, yeah, it's, though, isn't it? It's that's what comes in the uh, locker room. I was following you on Twitter, and and some of your updates. I think it was game. Was it game three? Uh, no, game, game game two. Game two, and you were watching from a yeah. a, a sweat lodge or yeah, a, or well, a, yeah. a duck shed. <laughs> Close. I mean, usually I like to watch the game in complete solitude. Yeah. My fortress of solitude, over uh, in English Bay there, and. On, I had to go to a, a literary festival. It was in Wolf Island, Ontario, which is just off the coast of uh, Kingston yeah. in the St. Lawrence River. And it was a very rural festival. And the facilities w were a duck hunting shed, a plywood. <laughs> uh, I, we might have a picture of one. There it is. There's the what? duck shed. So right beside me there. But they at least had a TV for you. They did with, with rabbit ears. That's Dave Bedini, the author and uh, <laughs> yeah. Renaissance hockey Renaissance man beside yeah. me there. Member of the Rio Statics. Also yep. in that room. Uh, singer songwriter Sarah Harmer was there. Uh, oh, goodness. The so award award royalty. winning. Yeah, the award-winning author Joseph Boyden was there. I think we have a picture of Three him Three Day too. Road. And Three Day yeah. Road. So we were all areas. So we were all. That was That's after. That's the weirdest place anyone's watched a hockey game yeah. that I've ever heard. So we're in this shed. Uh, the, you know, the facilities are the outhouse, and they line up line up after every period. I had to <laughs> I had to do my bear routine, if you know what I mean. Uh, I the line was still, a little too long. Do you I know strip what you mean. hockey when you're watching with a group? They all wanted me to, and and when. Alex Burroughs scored in overtime on Tim Thomas when Tim Thomas decided to go to the outhouse. Yeah, uh, it was unbelievable, and to be in that group of uh, th this group of extraordinary Canadians, I never thought I'd be in that room with them. And I was partying harder than anyone else, of and, and I screamed, "Skinny Tim!" <laughs> and then started charging. Yeah, but it was kind of like that. And you realize you're alone. Halfway yeah, it in the was lake. like that Will Ferrell scene. Yeah. <laughs> it just, nobody, nobody. We're going streaking. Yeah, yeah. What do you think so. of Tim Thomas? Well, you know, he he's he's the. Uh, quite frankly, I'm going to be really, really, really honest. As a diehard Canucks fan, yeah, he's the most likable guy in the series. Yeah, I agree. And uh, he's a real character guy. He looks like a ball hockey goalie a lot yeah. of the time. He's got that great beard. That and dude everything. has paid his dues. Yeah, in but, hockey as but well. at, at the same time, you know, when people are asking me, do, do you want the Lightning or the Bruins? I wanted the Lightning. Why? Yeah. No Frankenstein on defense. And, and no, no, no yeah. crazy old man, you know, phenom uh, in goal. I <laughs> he mean, really is. once yeah. they solve them, though, He's I burly. think uh, I think they'll figure it out. They just need to get that yeah. confidence back. No, and I mean, once the, they get a couple power plays, the Canucks are on that guy, fire. Tim Thomas. He's a cross between Wilford Brimley and Dominic Hasek. <laughs> I think he looks like Zach Galifianakis, and it's freaky. Sure, a little bit. Now, going into game five, Wait. Grant, how, how are you feeling as a Canuck fan? How do we rally? Some people are getting just frustrated, and they just say they're not watching. What do we do? Very simply, we come home, we get into our home rink, and here's the deal. The Canucks score on the power play, we win the Stanley Cup. Yeah, man. It's as simple as that. I agree with that. Uh, we have to talk about a great contest that you guys are doing on uh, CBC <laughs> yeah, Radio 3 and on yes. CBC Radio 1 as well. Right? Yeah, this is something called uh, Sing for Your Song Canada. You talk. I'm going to come over here so I get and some okay. distance. It's something that we do every year on Canada Day. I want you to put that on. And uh, we, we get listeners from across the country to call in and sing their favorite Canadian song, yeah. and then we play the requests on Radio 1 and Radio 3 on Canada Day, and this year we are sending one lucky singer to the Calgary Folk Festival, all expenses paid, July 21 to 24. Okay, Mike, and uh, we have the phone number stuff. up there for people, I'm right? I'm going to give the deets yeah. again. You guys okay. do your thing. Sing for your song. Is a Canada Day special happening on Shake CBC Wait. Radio. Oh, sorry, I hope you're wearing a cup. You can actually call right now. The number's on okay. your screen. And sing your favorite <laughs> hockey song. And one lucky caller will win an all expenses paid trip to the Calgary Folk Let's Festival. Let's see the dog moth. Let me see it. In late July. <laughs> Remember, guys, I'm not wearing gear here. We're going to take a quick break and when we return he just threw an ant farm at him brandon fletcher is going to tell us what's up with the canal oh, <laughs> we'll be right back oh my gosh you guys <laughs> see this is part of the fantasy